what's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to tutorial 3 and today we'll be going to do some more exercise on s3 bucket using bottle 3 from python so in this tutorial i'll be going to show you guys one more very simple operation like for example you have created one um, um, s3 bucket now you want to retrieve some uh, attributes for that bucket for example one of the very useful attribute is creation date and how to do that so the intention or objective of stu this tutorial is to give you guys some sort of intuition so that in the later on whenever there is some new use case or similar sort of use case you can apply the same thing so i'll just going to give you the idea how you can uh, apply uh, different uh, methods to get some sort of like uh, uh, what do you say like uh, uh, like um, methods uh, on top of your object or s3 resource object and to get some uh, different or useful information so same thing uh, this is we already discussed upon in the last two, few tutorials so one is uh, bottle 3 and one is aws cli this uh, you can install using pip and next thing is um, how to set up your environment i have already discussed this thing in my uh, first tutorial so if someone is watching this tutorial for the first time can go ahead and watch uh, first tutorial or the tutorial number one they are actually have explained each and every steps um, slowly and uh, kind of uh, by doing it so kind of hands-on oriented approach so next thing is configuration of the AWS CLI this is also we have covered so the main objective or uh, objective of this tutorial is how to get creation date for s3 bucket using a uh, bottle 3 okay so let me open my Jupyter notebook now okay so first thing first uh, import bottle 3 and okay so I have imported everything uh, everything means only one thing is required now let me log into my AWS console okay so I have logged in I have logged in actually now I have navigated to S3 so if you see I have one bucket created it is actually created uh, maybe uh, next to last tutorial only but I'm not sure whether I deleted or recreated this thing again so we'll see it so now you want to see what is the creation date for this thing so in this tutorial I'll be going to use client uh, um, object rather than like uh, in the last few tutorials we have used resource so I will show you what I'm actually gonna do so it should be S3 resource equals to boto3 dot this then i'll be going to use client and what is client so you can just do this thing you will get see uh, create a low level service client by name using the default session so if you now rip, give something like this so it will be going to create a s3 client okay so like this now if you just see uh, boto core s3 client okay so now we'll be going to uh, like what do you say do some things on top of this so i got this s3 client okay so now i want to retrieve how many uh, uh, like uh, buckets are created so for this thing you have to use dot and after that let's see how many what are the different methods are available so maybe uh, list buckets okay we have this method available so let's call this thing see i got a response okay okay so i got a response now what i'll do i'll just try to uh, like get what are the different uh, like this is kind of a dictionary so if you see i got something called this buckets okay so what i'll do like this so that is the intention of using jupyter notebook so later on you can easily switch to um, like uh, any other vs code or pycharm or whatever this thing but for the first time or maybe first few months when you are actually new to this bottle 3 package so definitely uh, it will be useful if you go this interactive approach so if you see i got this thing and now i uh, this is a key actually if i use this thing so i'll get one list actually see i got name and i got creation date okay so just because this is having only one uh, thing oh this is a list so this is only first uh, zero then i also got this thing so after that i have to use again this name okay uh name so i'll get the name see and i can using not sure maybe creation date was there let's see okay so maybe d is in capital okay so i got the creation date so now if you want to uh, make this thing kind of uh, creation underscore date 
okay so now if you want to make this thing like kind of a string formatted so what you have to do then uh, str maybe create uh, maybe you can like this thing then this creation date dot str from time maybe you can like like this and after that you have to just maybe maybe m uh, maybe d m y then like this then hour minute second so h then something like this then m m will be capital then this then second let's see see i got this thing so i got this thing like um, the actual timestamp so now if you say someone will uh, say that uh, just because i know there is only one uh, object so i just use zero so what uh, like what happens like when there could be multiple things so for that thing also we have something so let's do one thing uh, we can use this thing for example bucket in this and then print bucket okay so let's run this thing uh, what happened mm, okay I, I just forgot to use for see I got this thing okay this is very simple okay so now um, uh, this is actually going to return only one object and for fg object we can easily write uh, two things like either you can write name and you can write let's say creation date okay uh, dictionary object has no attribute name uh, okay let's write something like this hopefully this will work okay i actually did a mistake okay fine okay i got this thing so now someone will uh, raise uh, one question that uh, someone can easily raise a question that if i have a multiple thing how to do M means uh, he or um, she is not still convinced or maybe someone of uh, you is not convinced so i'll just do that use case as well so i'll manually create i can do it like from programmatically from the first tutorial but i don't think this is the right way right not right way maybe right time so uh, do some uh, later on so maybe i just create um, total technology one okay just create simple create okay done so now i need to run this thing again so i want to see it like whether i am just getting this thing or not okay so maybe uh, let's run this thing okay it is here so let's run this thing see so just now I created this thing so that is why 11 12 so if you see here uh, my time is actually not showing correctly because uh, the AWS time has been set to uh, different time zone so that is why it is still showing 11 12 maybe it is uh, set on GMT time zone maybe I'm not if I'm not wrong and uh, this is the first one this is a total technology and this is total technology one and I got this thing so if you see over here okay so maybe um, i believe this is the end of this tutorial so what i'll do i'll just try to uh, copy or maybe i don't think copy is required just uh, let me just take a screenshot of this thing so probably it will be useful i'll just put this thing in slide okay so later on any one of you can easily like um, refer to this actually okay the intention is that you should refer this where is the screenshot 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 maybe this one no not this one i believe this one the screenshot yes right okay so screenshot has been placed so maybe yep all fine okay so our tutorial 3 is completed let me just save this thing okay so so this is 
very simple thing let me just reiterate everything and one more time before i close this tutorial so whenever we are going to do something new in jupyter notebook if i use this question mark it will give you the documentation or if it will open up the documentation of this uh, object or if a method whatever and after that if you use dot and tab it will uh, list down all the methods or attributes or different things you can do um, from that uh, object it will uh, it will actually display okay so using that least underscore bucket i got all, got all the buckets and after that i just used zero because i at that time i knew that i am only having one um, bucket and after that i just created this thing to get name and time creation time and as we need to do it kind of manually uh, sorry do it we need to do it something uh, like automatically not manually like if you put zero where definitely we're doing something hard coded but i don't want to use that and this is not a right idea so i just created one scenario by uh, creating multiple objects you can create 100 and after that uh, you can use just uh, looping through this thing definitely you can use there is a scope of using list comprehension but as i told you the objective of this tutorial to learn uh, aws automation so I, I believe all of you know python so you guys can easily use list comprehension and all so that's it so i hope you guys enjoying the series and in between if you guys are having any doubt question feedback on if you want me to cover some other use case uh, cases feel free to write me i'll try to incorporate all those things and please write me as well uh, with the feedback how you are enjoying this course or whether you are having any difficulties i'll try to cover up all those things so once again we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and don't forget to practice if you do not walk practice you will forget as this is a new series Okay, so guys, we'll see you in the next video very soon. Till then, take care, goodbye, and have a nice day.